from the binary digits that computers use to represent data to the most sophisticated artificial intelligence programs, logic is key to the development and implementation of the technologies we use daily. However, logic isn't just a tool for programmers to develop fancy software. We all use logical reasoning on a regular basis to think through problems and make decisions. There are a lot of advantages to burnishing your logic skills. If you're learning a code, practicing logical reasoning will help you understand how programming languages work and how programmers use them to solve problems. If you're not into software development, then learning logical reasoning will make you a more effective and self-aware thinker, and that has applications far beyond programming. Today, I would like to explore the topic of logical reasoning covering the following areas. What is logical reasoning? Why it's important in the context of programming, and how you can start learning it. Narrowly defined, logical reasoning is the practice of applying induction, deduction, or another logical method to a problem. More broadly, using logical reasoning means analyzing the relationships among the constituent parts of an argument or process. It involves thinking about how elements interact to bring about a certain result. Logical reasoning has tons of practical applications. You can use it to construct strong arguments and analyze the arguments of others. You can use it to develop step-based processes that are efficient, effective, and internally coherent. This is why logical reasoning is so important to so many disciplines. Philosophers, scientists, mathematicians, and computer programmers all use logic in their work. There are many types of logical reasoning. Let's discuss two of the most important ones before exploring the role of logical reasoning in programming. I am specifically referring to the inductive and deductive logical reasoning. Inductive reasoning involves evaluating a body of information to derive a general conclusion. Whenever you engage in research, you're using inductive reasoning as you are gathering evidence and using it to better understand the topic at hand. It's important to remember, however, that the conclusions you'll arrive at through induction will often be built on evidence that is incomplete. This means that the outcome of inductive reasoning tends to be probable rather than certain. Deductive reasoning is the process of deriving conclusions from principles called premises. The syllogism is one of the most basic forms of deductive reasoning. A syllogism includes a major premise, a minor premise, and a conclusion. In syllogisms, we are given a set of conditions, and we have to check whether the conclusions given after the conditions are true or not. For these types of questions, the best way is to consider all cases and draw Venn diagrams. Even if we can find one Venn diagram such that a conclusion gets false, that conclusion is the wrong choice. Let's explore an example. Imagine you were given the following information. All rockets are poles, some poles are trams, some trams are ropes, all ropes are tents. Also, you are given the following conclusions. Conclusion 1. Some tents are trams. Conclusion 2. Some ropes are rockets. Conclusion 3. Some trams are rockets. Conclusion 4. Some poles are rockets. In order to derive the solution, I am going to draw the Venn diagram based on the provided information. As you can see, only conclusion 1 and conclusion 4 are true. Another way programmers use their logical reasoning is when they create algorithms. The data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence programs especially rely on sophisticated algorithms which cannot be created without applying proper logical methods. You see, an algorithm is a set of instructions that tells a program what to do on the basis of certain inputs. A simple decision tree algorithm, for instance, will consist of a series of branching decisions. The logic of each branch is fairly simple. If a certain condition is met, do I, if not, do be. These branching decisions are repeated through later stages of the program to specify the appropriate end result based on the inputs. Now that I briefly covered the main applications of the logical reasoning and programming, let me share some of the ways you can become a better thinker and therefore a better programmer. First, find a news article in a reputable publication, read it, and try to pick out the author's primary claim. Then try to identify the pieces of evidence that the author uses to support that claim. Does the author's claim follow logically from the evidence? Or does the claim go beyond what the evidence actually supports? Analyzing how authors use evidence to support their arguments is a great way of practicing inductive reasoning. Second, next time you're planning how to tackle a new project, break your process down into steps and then write them down on a piece of paper. Does the end result follow logically from the steps that precede it? Or does the process contain steps that are redundant, unnecessary, or counterproductive? Third, spend time on creative hobbies. It turns out that creative outlets like drawing, painting, writing, and playing music can stimulate the brain and help promote logical thinking. Creative thinking naturally develops problem-solving abilities that can help you become a better performer at work. Learning a new instrument, for example, requires deep thought and concentration. The logical thinking skills you'll gain from this process can help you approach your work more intently, developing your ability to solve more problems with flexibility and ease. In addition, 
creative hobbies help reduce stress. When your stress levels are manageable, you will likely have an easier time focusing and making logical decisions. You can handle stress in many different ways, but developing your creative mind is especially productive and can bolster both your personal and professional life. Fourth, practice questioning. One of the best ways to strengthen your logical thinking skills is to ask questions about things you typically accept as fact. Regularly asking questions helps you view situations more completely, allowing you to approach problems at work more logically and creatively. Asking questions can also often lead to discoveries about topics you had not considered before, which may encourage you to explore further. You can use this method anywhere, especially at work. Consider a department at your workplace you are not familiar with and create a list of questions that will help you understand its purpose. For example, if you want to know more about search engine optimization, consider asking someone in that department for a short informational interview to learn more about their current projects and processes. This can help you think more critically about your role at work as it relates to that team. Finally, try to anticipate the outcomes of your decisions. When working to strengthen your logical thinking skills, it is helpful to consider what impact your decisions might have in the future. The closer you pay attention to the results of your decisions, the easier the process will become. When you come up with a solution to a problem at work, try to think about what the outcome may be. Eventually, you will find it easier to think of the immediate and long-term results of your decisions, which is an important aspect of logical thinking. Logic skills can be easily strengthened with daily practice. When you apply these exercises regularly, you will start to naturally approach everyday decisions at work with a more logical perspective. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you smash the like button and click on the notification bell. Also, make sure to subscribe to the Coding Tech channel for more videos like this in the future.